Exploring a shipwreck is, is an unmatched experience. As you come down on a site, descending on it, and it slowly appears out of the darkness, you're, you're seeing something that hasn't seen the light of day for 100, 120, 20 years. The Thunder Bay National Marine Sanctuary is a federal marine protected area. One way you can look at it is they're like a national park in the water. There are 14 of these areas around the country and we're the only one on the Great Lakes and we're here to protect a collection of historic shipwrecks. This facility, this is really a place of discovery, a place where you can connect to the rich Great Lakes maritime history. The Great Lakes Maritime Heritage Center is our headquarters building for the sanctuary. It's a great public venue, a visitor center for folks to come and access the shipwrecks of Thunder Bay. We want folks who don't dive to be able to see these things. At the end of the day, everything we do here is about the preservation of the story, it's the preservation of the site itself on the bottom of the lake, and sometimes it's the preservation of individual artifacts in a conservation lab and then display here at the center. People lost their lives on many of these sites, and they are grave sites, and it's another reason they needed to be treated with respect. In the history books, we read about the presidents, the kings, the queens, but through archaeology, what we do is we connect to the everyday person. We see what it was like for most of the people to live, and, and that's what these shipwrecks tell us about. To understand these sites and our maritime history is to really understand who we are. Produced by Michigan Television in partnership with the Michigan Council for Arts and Cultural Affairs and the Michigan Humanities Council.